Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Welcome to Hike360. We are doing another hike today. I'm back in the States, and uh, today we're doing a quick hike at the Goose Lake Prairie, Prairie. State Natural Area. Uh, prevent tick bites, so there's a lot of ticks here. As the sign says, there's a, a couple of features here, the biggest of which is this, this open spance, which apparently is really the way this land was. That's what we read in the description, was this hike in particular, it's a prairie hike. You get to see uh, wildlife and prairie flowers. But I think the big attraction here is the spance of prairie grassland that uh, hasn't been farmed over. And if you go back 200 years, this was a cattle stop for cowboys taking cattle from St. Louis, according to the book. Yeah. From St. Louis um, to the stockyard to Chicago. Yeah. Pretty wild. So we got the Tallgrass Nature Trail, which we're going to be on, the Crag Cabin, which we may see, should see, Butterfly Barn, and the covered wagon bench nice um this like meadowin and a few others has no shade we're here in a rainy day so we don't really care about shade but if you're here in july or august you better bring some water because it's gonna be hot uh, the book said uh, july was really a great time because the flowers are in full bloom and then in September, they would switch over to fall flowers in the prairie. So we're naturally, we're here in, in May. <laughs> uh, also, there's a special kind of flower that grows here or plant called an obedient plant. And they are called that because if you were to bend their stem, uh, they'll stay in that position kind of like a pipe cleaner. Uh, I don't think I'll see any today, but I thought that was really cool. There are a lot of birds here. I brought my book, but should have brought it. Should have brought it with us. So a couple of quick things that we learned on the other side of the pond are some glacier moraine from the last ice age. These rocks in the foreground are bedrock rocks that they dug up not on purpose when they were getting fill to fill in the low spots of the parking lot they, they hit bedrock so I, I, and the sign said that the soil is really only to about 10 feet deep and then you hit rock and here we are at the coming up to the log cabin so what's the deal at the log cabin the palace I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. This is the first log cabin in Grundy County. John and Agnes. You know, you don't hear the word Agnes, the name Agnes, that much anymore. Uh, this is not the original, it was rebuilt in the 80s. 1980s, not the 1880s. Wow, and this this was considered big. You know, oh, uh, we can go in. Can we? No. Oh, the fence is open. The fence is still open. Oh, there's more glacial rocks over there. And these to build the chimney had, if they, I mean, originally they would have been local. Oh, there is what some infestations. Where? Well, this is rotted, but there's you can just see the stuff flying around. All right, we're not allowed in. Yeah, these we're going rapid fire here because the hike is pretty short, right? Two and a half miles for this hike? Yes. This would be the covered covered wagon bench. 
Not just a covered wagon and bench. Whoa. Oh, it's a, oh, what a great example of a working windmill. So it's pumping water. Yeah. So in Switzerland, I'm reading a book about hydropower and uh, just learning about all the water wheel. Uh, there's like 28 different industries 200 years ago, 300 years ago that used water wheel powers. A windmill would be the same type of power from stamping presses to pushing bellows for the blacksmiths to you know moving the wheel around to grind uh, corn and uh, uh, weaving and all kinds of different industries you you know used power you used the windmill well in switzerland they used hydro so it was a oh, water hydro. wheel oh like okay, okay. uh what was the hike where we had the water wheel Gra uh growl it was growl mill but uh fullersburg fullersburg yeah. so this would be like an animal skin yeah rather Look at these spider webs. Just kidding. They're not spider webs. These are silkworm nests. And uh, silkworms, they create silk. And these are their homes. Well, we've had a good time. Yeah, that was a good one. We, uh, it didn't end up being two and a half miles. We probably cut it short. But we got 1.65 miles in the hike today. Uh, which is fine because we need our rest uh, to do two hikes tomorrow, Sarved Rock and like Takashi Woods or something like that. The east side of Starved Rock. Yeah. The trail's less traveled. So what else you got? Took us an hour. We stopped a lot. Learned a lot. The plaques, the plaques. Were, were very informative. The windmill that had the water pumping for no apparent reason by the covered wagon was later explained at a different location that actually that water should have been filling a trough so that cow, cattle can drink. That made more sense. These things are not obvious to uh, city boys. That's right why we do these walks. I'm going to look up st st Street Sweeper no. now. <laughs> <laughs> One of the fun things that we have on these hikes is we get into crazy conversations like the, what was the, the shrimp with the eyes? The mantis. Mantis. Shrimp. It's a mantis shrimp, right. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on no mantis shrimp. Yeah. Tune into our mantis shrimp videos from the Chicago Botanic Gardens. That's right. So this parking lot is set up to see a lot of vehicles. I guess that's July and August. They got maps, maps over there. Probably should have grabbed one. 